Our next guest needs no introduction. His face is almost as familiar as his name, and his name is synonymous with the development of the state of Delaware. As a matter of fact, his ancestors were instrumental in the economic development of this state. It's a true pleasure to welcome to Focus Delaware Governor Pierre S. DuPont. Governor, pleasure to have you with us. Well, we're glad to be on board tonight. I'm glad you could take time out of your busy schedule to come down here. Well, it's very important, I think, that uh, the people in the state, particularly in the economic development area, really understand what's happening because Delaware is on a boom. We're really growing. The opportunities are growing, and I like the opportunity to talk about it. Hmm. In the economic area, we're going to start with that first. What have been the immediate effects of the Financial Center Development Act, which was passed by the legislature back in June? I know there were some worry wards that were concerned about uh, removing the... Um, uh, the limits off of the usury laws, but uh, what do you see as the uh, immediate effects? Well, the impact on Delaware has been uh, extremely positive. Uh, eight out-of-state banks have come here. Uh, that generates uh, a minimum of about a thousand jobs and probably, with a ripple effect, uh, a couple of thousand more beyond that. Employment opportunities are good. Uh, the construction industry uh, is uh, receiving the benefits as buildings are being built. Uh, all of these banks are going to be here, be hiring people uh, for uh, data processing and uh, financial analysis skills. So it's really been a boon, particularly to Wilmington, but also to uh, the entire rest of the state. Mm -hmm. Now, what about critics who say that the, the removal of usury laws will create um, havoc for consumers? I know the banks have raised their limits a little bit. Well, uh, I don't think uh, that they are correct. Uh, eight states, including California and uh, several of the larger states, have no usury laws. Uh, and uh, I think the cost of money is generated by the marketplace, not by state law. Uh, so what we really have uh, is now a market economy uh, with tremendous job opportunities for Delaware. And the bottom line of all that is that Delaware has almost the fastest growing economy of any state in the country. Uh, this year. We're right at the top of the list and opportunities are expanding. Hmm. That's very impressive. Now I know you consider it uh, as a priority in your administration to uh, develop the economy, to bring businesses in and to foster the businesses that are already in this st state. Um, why, first of all, I want to ask you, why do you consider that to be part of uh, your job? Well, the best thing we could do for the people of Delaware is make sure that every person, young or old, uh, who wants to go to work has an opportunity to work. Uh, we'd like to see all of our high school graduates come out of high school and get a job if they want to go to work instead of going on to higher education. We'd like to see uh, spouses who want to get a second income for the family have that opportunity. And I think the best thing I can do as governor, other than running the state government, is make sure that those opportunities continue to expand. Uh, I think most people in Delaware would agree that the best thing that could happen to them is a better job or a job if they don't have one today. And now I'd like to ask you, how successful have you been in, in fostering the um, native businesses and bringing in businesses from out of state? Well, I think it's going very, very well. Uh, the Financial Center Development Act is the best example. Uh, we already have eight banks. I would expect there'd be many, many more before we're through. Uh, we are expanding the Port of Wilmington, which brings a lot of blue-collar jobs uh, into the area. Uh, Hercules is expanding, DuPont is expanding, Getty is expanding. Uh, it's really gone extremely well, and as I say, the bottom line is we're growing faster than uh, states like Oklahoma and, and as fast as Texas. And for hmm. Delaware, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Now let's turn to another subject, the Nemours Foundation. Uh, recently they um, have been uh, developing some new... Um, endeavors that uh, never had they done before, and what brought this about? Well, some of uh, our listeners tonight may recall a tremendous uh, push in the Delaware legislature for the pill bill, that is pharmaceutical assistance for uh, our older Americans who are having trouble meeting uh, rising cost of prescription drugs. Uh, we persuaded the Nemours Foundation to begin that program using money that uh, has to be used in Delaware to promote the needs of the elderly uh, under the will of the Alfred I. DuPont uh, Trust, uh, Trust and Estate some years ago. So we have a new drug program that's uh, about to start up. It's going to mean that if you're over 65 and have uh, income uh, under about $8,000 for a couple, uh, that you can get uh, most of your drug needs free through this program. Uh, it's something that our older people need. Uh, it's something that was well done, I think, because we're using Nemours Foundation's money instead of tax money. So that's cheaper for the rest of the people of the state of Delaware. Mm. Now, how would one apply for these funds? 
uh, up on Delaware Avenue in the old Medical Arts Building, uh, they have their, uh, their center set up. It will go into operation later this year. Uh, you make an application, you're certified to be a Delaware resident over 65 and under the income limits, and you then get a card. Uh, you use that card to get your prescriptions filled there. You take your doctor's prescription in, they're filled. You pay a quarter of the cost, they pay three quarters but in no case do you have to pay more than a hundred dollars in the entire year for your prescription drugs hmm. and the Moore's Foundation picks up the rest and that's going to help uh, t oh I guess 10,000 or so elderly Delawareans with low income who really have a difficult time paying for prescription drugs hmm. now the Moore's Foundation I think was a little reluctant uh, at first what led to their agreeing to get into this well we had to make a trip or two to Florida to talk to them about it they were reluctant but uh, we pointed out that they needed to spend money in Delaware under the court order that they had an obligation to do it and that this was the number one need of Delaware's elderly and we met with them several times and uh, after some uh, I guess persuasive conversations they agreed to do it mm -hmm. now there's going to be an eye clinic and there's going to be an eyeglass clinic also the glasses clinic uh, is and hearing aid clinic are already underway uh, and uh, I'm not sure what the limits are on those but again uh, up on Delaware Avenue you can go if you are 65 uh, or older and uh, do need help uh, with eyeglasses or hearing aids you can go there uh, and they can be of help to you. Hmm. Well, thank you, Governor. We're going to turn to some uh, personal questions now, but before we do that, we're going to cut away for some short messages. But stick around. I'm looking forward to spending the evening with you. Focus Delaware will return after these messages. We're back with Governor Pete DuPont, and uh, when we left, we were asking him some uh, very important economic questions, and now I'd like to ask the governor some personal questions. Governor, what do you do for relaxation? Well, relaxation in this job is a little bit limited, and the real answer is not as much as I'd like. Uh, we have uh, four children, and uh, that gets us to a lot of uh, Eagles and Flyers games. <laughs> uh, we play a little bit of tennis. Uh, and in the summertime, do a little bit of sailing if we get the opportunity. Mm -hmm. Where do you sail? I'm curious. Well, we get up to Maine uh, every year for a couple of weeks vacation. Uh, we've sailed here in the Delaware River, and you know we have a program going to improve the recreational use uh, of the Christina that comes right down through Wilmington. Uh, the city of Wilmington is cleaning that up, and one day we hope there are going to be marinas there and a good opportunity to do boating right out of the city of Wilmington. I have heard from some of the marinas there that they, they've seen you from time to time on the Christina. Yes, yeah, sometimes, and sometimes uh, upside down and uh, in the water. <laughs> Governor, do you feel um, uh, that uh, politics was in your blood? I mean, what made you decide to get invo involved in politics? Well, Bob, it, to me, uh, it's where the action is. Uh, the big challenge of America today uh, is not uh, building uh, roads or buildings or uh, making chemicals uh, or whatever. Uh, I think the real challenge is holding an industrial democracy together, uh, keeping the economy going and keeping opportunities good for people. Uh, it's where the action is, it's where the excitement is, and it's where there's an opportunity I think to make a tremendous contribution to people and and I enjoy it. Now you're an attorney I understand you, you went to Harvard Law School? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, after you got out of law school did you practice law actively? Uh, I did not. I went to, to work for uh, the family business uh, and uh, was with DuPont for seven years and then had an opportunity to run for the state legislature and then the Congress and uh, somehow I ended up here as governor. Mm -hmm. And now, specifically, what made you decide to run for governor? You were um, a very successful um, representative in the House of Representatives in Congress. Well, I had been in Congress for six years. Uh, Delaware was in uh, real trouble uh, in 1975 and 1976. We were in financial trouble. Our economy was shrinking and not growing. Uh, there were ethical problems in the government. And it just seemed to me that uh, here was an opportunity to perhaps turn things around uh, and uh, get the state running a little bit better. And I think, uh, on balance, we've accomplished an awful lot of the things we were interested in. Mm -hmm. Now, I know in the state of Delaware, a governor cannot succeed himself for a third term. Um, what are you going to do once you get out of this job? Gee, uh, everyone from my wife uh, right on down is asking that question. Uh, that's, of course, three years away. Uh, I cannot run for governor again. I'd like to stay in government, I think. Uh, it is an area of great interest to me. There's a lot of work to be done. 
but whether that would be an elective office or uh, some other kind of office, I just don't know at mm -hmm. this point. How about uh, going back to Washington, D.C. in some capacity, maybe Congress? Well, uh, that's a possibility. Uh, we'll just have to see a couple of years from now uh, which way to go. Now, um, also now, your wife, you understand, is now working in, in Washington, D.C. In what capacity? She uh, is uh, one of the uh, women that the Reagan administration uh, sought to uh, try to bring more women into the political process. She is an assistant administrator in AID, which is uh, Agency for International Development, and heading up an effort there to get more private sector investment in foreign countries. Uh, she uh, is an attorney also and uh, very much enjoys it, though we spend a lot of time going back and forth. Do you ever get a chance to see each other these we days? We do. Uh, we uh, spend some time in Delaware together, and I manage to get over to Washington once in a while as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, occasionally I see you at a University of Delaware football game. Do you intend to make any more this oh, season? Oh, indeed. Uh, I think this year Delaware has a fantastic uh, football team. Uh, I think I heard a statistic the other day that in yards gained, we're top in the nation. Uh, and uh, that's extraordinary. Mm -hmm. But uh, Tubby Raymond uh, is pessimistic, and when he's pessimistic, that means they're on the up. Right, that's correct. Well, thank you, Governor, for taking time out of your busy schedule to be here with us. Well, Bob, it's been a pleasure, and I hope we'll come back again. Please do. And now, watch for this next segment of our show. I think you'll enjoy that.